Hounded by Kevin Hearn. This is 292 pages. It is an urban uh, fantasy set in modern day Tempe, Arizona. This reminded me of a Jim Butcher Dresden Files type of thing. And this is the first in the Iron Druid series. So I did enjoy this book. It was an adventure based around the main character who is a druid and supposedly one of the last remaining druids. And he is a part of Celtic mythology. There is a pantheon and he interacts with, I believe, five, maybe six different uh, gods in that pantheon. And he has an arch rival who has been hounding him uh, throughout his whole, the majority of his life. And so he lives longer than traditional humans, but also made a deal with the death god from his pantheon to not have anything happen to him that he didn't cause himself. So if somebody else comes to take him out, there's there's only a few ways that he can die or pass away. So um, he ends up living for thousands and thousands of years and has made an enemy of the love god in his Celtic uh, pantheon. So the whole book is about the love god trying to come get the sword that the main character has and it is a very irish book they even have the pronunciations in the beginning if you do care about how it's pronounced i'm not going to attempt any of them but it is there spelled out phonetically for those who do uh care about grammar and phonetics and it was a great adventure it seemed like you know he went out of his way as a main character to be in the desert away from everybody else you know to have his own space and it seemed like trouble found him uh, there was a lot of things that i liked about the book i liked his relationships with other characters you know he lived so long that there's got to be connections throughout the world and he talked about that in that he made uh friends that helped him survive not physically but like emotionally and mentally and distract him from all the you know pain and suffering that he's experienced throughout that long lifetime and so he's got his dog uh is another main relationship and he's able to communicate uh uh telepathically to his wolfhound so that's pretty cool and they share a close bond and that is a majority of the plot is his adventures with his wolfhound there's a widow that lives down the street and uh, that he also connects with and he is a shop owner he owns his own bookstore and <laughs> that's mainly how the bad guys found him and you know this is a series so i'm not uh giving anything away right he he survives to live another day throughout the series but he has uh interactions with five uh gods from the pantheon and i felt like I'm hoping in the future he interacts with them differently. It, it felt like with the female goddesses, he was att he was attracted to all of them, but the male goddesses, he just ended up killing them. All of these were different scenarios and for different reasons, but it just felt a little bit one-dimensional there. So that was a dislike that I had. Um, another dislike was that he's like, hey, it's so hard for, ever, you know, for people to find me here in the desert. But then, of course, everybody finds him. So uh, I did, I, uh, that was kind of a silly moment that I didn't like, but uh, there was a lot to like. You know, he talks about uh, historical events and his, maybe not role, but his opinion on them. He liked to be away from people, but close to the earth. I liked that. You know, he talked a lot about his relationships, that kind of thing. The magic system itself was difficult to get a hold on. Like his power as a druid comes from the earth, but there wasn't really a lot of explanation. It was just he knows how to draw power to heal himself. But uh, it still kind of felt, I mean, it, it felt like a different kind of magic, so that I liked. But something I didn't like was that it wasn't really explained as well. So it almost felt like he could just kind of draw power and use it. Um, you know, almost kind of like the hand wavy wizard novels, like with l little cost, right? It just, boom, I'm going to wave my wand and there's the spell. But he, you know, he does have a cost associated. He can't just heal up instantly. It does take time. 
and uh, I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm looking forward to more of the magic system later on in the series. Good series. Uh, the main character had uh, a, a depth. It wasn't just like, I'm the good guy. I'm going to go take everybody out. He actually thought through scenarios, had concerns, and one of his biggest uh, goals was to survive to fight another day like he didn't engage with every battle swing you know swinging headlong in it was a calculated like should i survive and and move on so um that also played into the plot in that one of the gods uh <laughs> enabled him or pushed him into a battle and so that was part of it but i'm looking forward to the rest of the series it seemed like it wrapped up fairly nicely so uh i don't really know where they're gonna go with this next but i do look forward to it and this was a book that i enjoy and recommend and if you liked the jim butcher dresden Files series this is also of a similar urban fantasy style of book so as always remember to buy your books used or digital